Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to Jovanna Sesarek for sharing this. I hope I got your name right. If you're not familiar with Tyler Doka, he's the chief shepherd or pastor of the Pillar of Truth Christian Church in New York City. If we click on their beliefs and doctrine, we'll read that they do believe that Tyler is Jesus the Christ, the only begotten Son of God. I wish I was making this up. And they believe this from the abundant amount of scriptural evidence that Tyler provides to prove this point. But apparently this Jesus isn't perfect and doesn't know how to spell the word abundant. If we go to his YouTube channel, we'll see that just two days ago, he released a documentary showing that he is Jesus Christ. So let's listen to a bit of this. Some of you may know me. Some of you may have never seen this channel before. My name is Tyler Doka, and I am the pastor of Pillar of Truth Christian Church. I am also the man written of in the Bible known as Jesus Christ. Yes, you heard that correctly. I'm about to explain how I, Tyler Doka, am Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. And my friends, that's all we need to listen to. I listened to a bit more and he uses the Bible to try and prove his point, but this is next level twisted and even I have a breaking point with how much nonsense I can listen to. The first thing I was thinking was, if he's Jesus, then he should be out there doing miracles like Jesus, and by God's grace, I clicked on this part where he explains this. If I was doing physical miracles, like making someone stand up out of a wheelchair or restoring a person's physical arm, every person in the world would believe. You do not need faith to believe something you can physically see. But if I make people who were spiritually crippled, to walk and leap with God, or make someone who cannot spiritually see the Bible to be able to see, that has to be accepted purely through faith. And there are many instances throughout the scriptures where I explain that there will no sign be given to the people. That is why the Bible says there will be false Christs, because people who deceive through those fake and ungodly means, who are often found liars, are those who many will believe upon. Oh, the irony, this false Christ exposing another false teacher and using scripture to support that he doesn't have to give any signs to prove he's actually Jesus. How convenient. This whole video is his deceiving logic to show he really is Jesus. And here's the shocking thing. Just look at the people commenting and believing that he really is Christ people thanking him as their savior. The Jesus Christ that was crucified over 2,000 years ago is the Messiah the Jewish people were waiting for and denied. And even other religions like Islam testify that Jesus did walk the earth and was a miracle worker. I was born again by putting faith in Jesus Christ's finished work on the cross as millions of others have before Tyler was even born. And many miracles have been seen by God working through his children before Tyler ever existed. I'm going to believe the real Jesus words spoken in Matthew 24, where he told us not to let anyone deceive us because many would come saying that they are the Christ and deceive many. As we have shared in the past, the disciples were told the next time Jesus would be seen was the same way he left the earth, in the clouds. And Revelation 1.7 says that every eye would see him. But this is where we are, folks. If people can be deceived by these different people worldwide claiming to be Jesus, then how much more subtle deceit is Satan causing in the church? Because these false Christs have been popping up all over the place in the past decades and amassing big followings. If Satan can fool people with obvious lies like this, how many people are being fooled with his more crafty deceit within the church? Read your Bibles, my friends, and believe God's word that warns us of false Christs like Tyler Doka. We're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.